Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Look at the most hotly anticipated simulator game of 2013 if I had to guess. This is Surgeon Simulator 2013, recently greenlit. Previously there was a free version of this game that came out, I believe it was the product of a game jam. And it only had the heart transplant, but here we are, you know, we've got a little bit more added, we've got this reception mode. Uh, we're gonna mess around with this a little bit because I haven't really spent too much time with the reception mode. We've got the heart transplant, which was the free one. We've got a kidney transplant, times two apparently, which I'm gonna try and almost certainly fail at it. I suck real hard at this game. What is this ambulance mode? Oh my god, okay, I've never seen that yet. Uh, let's go back to surgery mode and see what's at the bottom here. Main menu. Alright, operations, fine by me. Uh, I've been playing, this is the standalone version. We've had review codes for a couple days here, um, me and the NLSS crew here. Uh, but I must admit that I haven't spent too much time with this, and I have no idea how much it's gonna cost. But by the time the embargo is up and this video is up, you should know uh, whether this is a 3, 5, 10, or 15 dollar variety of Steam game, and man, we're gonna get into this. Uh, I'm pretty garbage at Surgeon Simulator. If you're not familiar with it, it's not really a simulator. It's just like a fuck your desk up simulator. You think I need phones? Everyone's got a cell phone in this day and age. Get the fuck off my desk. Radios? 9-12. Actually, that is the real time here. PM, because I'm a scumbag. Uh, we'll just flip this off our desk so we have a little bit of space to move around. Uh, but it's not- it's a tongue-in-cheek simulator. Uh, it's- I guess, technically, in many ways, it is a simulator. Uh, because you're controlling this dude's hand here, and you have complete control over the thumb and the fingers, as you can see. So if I wanted to, you know, I could be completely juvenile, not that I would ever do that, and, uh, you know, give you the middle finger here. I could also, let's just get it all out of the way here, you know, we can do the shocker. I wish I could do the spocker, but I guess I can't. There we go, there's the reverse shocker. Anyway, um, this game's all about humor. Prepare for this to blow up on YouTube even more than it has already, now that this version is out. So, there is a floppy disk here. I'm gonna try to insert some other ones. There was, like, a controls disk. I'm just gonna see if maybe I can insert this Britannia GG disc and see what happens there. I can't see what the other one says. Deep Dungeons of Doom. I wonder if there's a game within a game. Uh, get in the disc drive? Maybe not? Maybe these just don't work, because if you put the controls disc in, uh, it just works, like, right away. It snaps in, basically. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Come on, okay, let's let's go back to this Britannia one. I realize we haven't done any surgeoning yet, but if you're watching this to see high doctane surgery action, uh, you're being a little silly because, you know, you're gonna see... The, the whole point of this game is just getting weird shit done with these hands. Like, mundane tasks that are now difficult as a result of our uh, inability to move. Come on, insert disc, I'm trying! I, just bashing it here, these things are fragile, man. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to make this work. Oh, there we go! Okay, let's see what this is. Britannia 1988, this is super weird, I'm excited. Uh, okay, cut the heart valves, or the, the the aorta, if you will. Cut the stomach out. This is teaching me some stuff. I guess these, I didn't realize the scalpels, I, I'm like touching the monitor like, oh, love me. I can't believe this is all I got for this though. Let's, let's try to get Deep Dungeons of Doom and see what that does. I didn't realize there were different scalpels. Also, I'm impressed with myself, that's probably the best thing I've ever been able to do in this game so far. Uh, is put a disc inside the disc drive. This one seems a little easier because I've got it more, uh, you know, parallel to the drive right away. Oh, you can do it. There we go. That went pretty well. Oh, shit. This is really cool. I found an Easter egg by accident. Uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one, but in any case, that's kind of cool. Uh, let's uh, hit the button here. Don't want to leave that running just in case I, our mom will get mad at us for cranking up the power bill. I kind of want to see if we can get the post-it note and flip that over. We can at least pick it up and, you know, do what I do with everything in this game and toss it off the fucking desk. Ah, almost. In any case, uh, why don't we just try to do the kidney transplant here? I will probably end up doing the heart as well, because I can guarantee that I'm going to suck at the uh, kidney transplant. But we're going to do our damnedest here. So this is our poor sap. Uh, we can grab him on the face if we wanted to and kind of shake him around. This is such a weird... Let's look at for me, because as a free version, I really like Surgeon Simulator 2013. I thought it was absurd, hilarious, uh, and kind of a, just like a nice way to spend, you know, half an hour to an hour until your frustration kicked in, I guess, or until you kind of got tired of the joke, which is like, why is it so difficult to do these things? Um, this guy's got a, oh, I guess we're lower on the rib cage than normal. How I'm going to get around these intestines, intestines, sorry, is beyond me. Uh, can I please just get this out of the way here? I could also turn off the radio if I wanted to, but I don't know where. Okay, there it is. Maybe I can just smash my hand down on it and turn it down. But the music is actually kind of a nice uh, touch, I suppose. So, our, our whole reason d'etre here, our, our whole reason that we're alive or in this game, is we got to find some way to get these intestines out of the way and replace this dude's kidneys, which are almost certainly contained in this thing right here. 
Uh, but from a critical standpoint, I have no idea how to review this game. I'm basically, I'm not doing reviews, I guess, in the first place, but uh, keep, in, keep that in mind as you watch this, that mostly uh, I'm, I'm flying blind here, basically, uh, and just playing the game and giving my thoughts on it as we go. Uh, let us try to do something here. First thing that you normally do, the first thing that I normally do, I know people like the hammer, uh, but I'm more of a saw guy. Oh! Okay, try not to knock that down into his body, which will cause him to bleed. Basically, this becomes a game of managing, like, the patient's blood levels, as well as, uh, your tolerance for frustration. Which is the, the point of the game. This is a frustration in a, a good way, or at the very least, d frustration by design, not just frustration by accident. So I don't know if we actually have to cut the bones on his ribcage here. I'm flying blind. I actually didn't- I beat the uh, heart simulation in on stream once in the free version, but try as I might, I played for like an hour, uh, and I could not beat it again in, in the standalone version, but Kate picked it up and actually beat it on like her second try, so I don't know. She's got the, the doctor DNA, I suppose, whereas I don't. Now, this guy's obviously bleeding, as you can see. If he bleeds out, we die, so what we're gonna want to do here is, uh... Oh, I guess our watch has somehow miraculously appeared and then unappeared as if a ghost was trying to David Blaine us. Uh, but I'm gonna grab this syringe. Oh, not the, not the, uh, scalpel. We're gonna grab the syringe. And by grabbing the syringe and inserting it into his body, we will be able to stop the bleeding. As you can see, that loss rate is, uh, changing and is now at zero. So we'll just try to replace this, because we might, you never know when you might need it again. And, uh, let's, let's take a look at our setup now. So I don't think you're just supposed to yank the intestines out of the way. If I had to guess, uh, that would probably not be number one course of action, but I'll just start waggling it around a little bit. Usually, the way this works is we gotta take all the organs out of the, um, out of the body and then, uh, then replace it with the, uh, transplant organs, and it just kinda, like, matches up almost like a puzzle piece, and then, voila, surgery done. Even if they only have one milliliter of blood left, apparently that's all you need to sustain life. By the way, I'm not actually like, really picking a bone with Surgeon Simulator 2013's realism, uh, because obviously the lack of realism is kind of the point here. So if I could just, if you would, uh, just allow me to pick you up, so, oh, I had it there. Allow me to pick you up again, no. Uh, I, I would be a very happy camper if I could actually pick up this saw. Mostly I just try to use, like, thumb and forefinger for everything, uh, I don't know why they call it the forefinger, it's really the first finger. I need to... My, I'm, I apologize for this crass gesture I'm giving you guys right now, it's not intentional. Uh, but the fact that it's vibrating means that, uh, you know, if there's any ladies watching, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do anything with this, I kinda wanted to just drop, uh, what I had. But now the saw is apparently, like, surgically attached to my body, so I'm gonna try to cut through the intestines a little bit. My hope is, I'm not sure if these are actually cuttable. Uh, but I gotta get them out of here somehow, so let's cut through the intestine. Seriously, can I just, like, replace... There we go. Let's pick it up in a better way. All of my... One of my fingers has, like, you know, what, lock jaw? It's like lock finger. It was permanently stuck down. That might be a keyboard issue, but uh, let's pick this up. Now, again, probably not the safest way to pick up a saw, considering it's literally cutting into our wrist right now. So let's just drop it for a second. Ah, even better, yeah. Hold it literally by the blades. Luckily, we are made of pure fucking adamantium. Uh, oh, okay, that's gonna fall off the edge, so I guess we're gonna use, uh, our hammer from now on, or maybe, you know, whatever this thing is. It kind of looks like a kidney, with a blade attached to the end of it. Uh, I don't know what it's called, I just know the sound it makes when it takes a man's life, so... Amazingly, he's only losing one milliliter of blood per second. And it seems like this is probably not the right way to get the intestines out of the way, if I had to guess. Uh, but I am doing a pretty- oh, maybe it is, because I see some incisions being made. And really, I mean, we can just atone for our previous mistakes here, or our, all of our problems here, even though he's losing blood really quickly, uh, by just uh, it, inputting the syringe. I mean, he is losing a lot of blood here, don't get me wrong, but I'm hoping that my haphazard kind of randomness uh, involved in what I've done here has been enough for me to possibly get the intestines out. You know what? Why don't we just give it a couple more cuts, and then I will try to pick up this syringe over here and maybe make some good stuff happen. Um... I don't know if that's gonna be enough. I wonder if I have to get, like, the small intestines out before I have to get the large intestines out. I don't know if that would make any sense, because uh, there is, I guess, an order associated with this game, but as of right now, there's not too much I could do about it. Uh, my keyboard has actually stopped working, which means I don't have control over my hands. I can't pick up the syringe. Where did I put it anyway? I believe I put it back over here on top of this table. Okay, I'm gonna try to pick it up just by kind of virtue of physics, or at least knock it into the dude's cavity. Just, I, I've got 
Partial paralysis. Oh, man. You can also, by the way, if you prick yourself on one of these syringes, uh, you can accidentally uh, give yourself drugs, and that will cause your screen to get all freaky-deaky on you. But for some reason, I can't seem to stab myself with it. But, man, this guy is probably not too long for this world. But I can't get the damn kidney knife out of my hands. That's the new Dishonored DLC, the, the kidney knife of Dunwall. Uh, if I could just... Get back over here. On, on the bright side, my dude does seem to have pretty amazing grip, I've got to say. He must have like those Spider-Man type little hairs that come out. Uh, this is absolutely a game where you will need your keyboard if you were wanting to succeed. Uh, but it looks like this guy might not be long for this world, which might be a blessing in disguise. I didn't get very far on this surgery, but I probably would have let him bleed out anyway. Uh, so after this fails, I will just grab my, uh, or unplug and replug in my keyboard. Apologies for that. Uh, and we will... Perhaps. Oh, I pit myself with the drugs. Here we go. Now I'm playing Hotline Miami. Uh, if I could just come over here and it's like when playing board game online again. In about 40 seconds, this should fail. I wonder if I could just put this dude out of his misery and save him a long and painful death by instead just stabbing him right through the face. Oh, it doesn't appear that he's a big fan of that. Um, you know, if I could get rid of this, I could just slap him around a little bit and that might be fun too. But uh, in the meantime, this is pretty much what you expected when you clicked on a video called Surgeon Simulator 2013, I bet. So, technical difficulties aside, this man is just about to die. And apparently we're gonna get sued for malpractice or something, but I'm gonna embrace the power of editing. We did leave uh, that kidney bean inside of him, uh, but we're gonna embrace the power of editing, and I am going to fix my keyboard here. Be back in a second. Alright, I am back. Well, let's try to do the heart transplant, shall we? This is obviously... Uh, the classic, but at the very least I kind of understand how this one is supposed to work. Maybe not how it actually works in reality, but how it's supposed to work. So I'm actually scrubbing up here in real life. I'm actually just taking off my sweater. Uh, and then let's go to town. It starts with the same basic principle. We're gonna grab this uh, cloth here and then thrust it off in a direction, which hopefully will not smother our uh, player here. All right, my keyboard died and then came back. Let's try this again. I really hope the power supply doesn't completely fuck this over. Now, again, most people love the hammer. I'm a big fan of the saw when it comes to uh, taking out this guy's rib cage. So let's stop doing the little like thumb and forefinger there that indicates sex in that juvenile vaginal intercourse hand motion that we all know and love so very well. So we've got our saw here. Oh, we've also got the syringe. We should probably make sure we're only uh, using one of those. I don't know what the blue syringe does to the patient, but I know it makes us high as hell. Now the saw is going to try to get away, but no such luck for you. Now if my keyboard's going to die, now would actually be a very good time for it, because I'm only going to be using my mouse briefly. So we're just going to put this down here. We're going to cut through these bones. It's kind of inevitable this guy will lose some blood. But never fear, it is, it is by design. This is not accidental blood loss. Let's keep putting some saws to him here. Now we're gonna cut through the xiphoid process uh, and we've got some good stuff going on here. We want to make sure that this area is as cleanly cut as possible because we're gonna want to go through the lungs here. I'm sure if you've seen Surgeon Simulator gameplay already you've probably seen a successful operation and numerous failed operations. I'm not yet sure which category this is going to fall into uh, but we will see. Um, let's make sure we're cutting through these bones here again. If, if he gets down to 2,000 milliliters, it kind of doesn't even matter because we can just syringe him uh, and cause him to stop losing blood anyway. But what I really want to do is make sure I'm cutting through these bones because uh, that's going to make our life a whole lot easier in the future. Now, I don't know how, but I've, I've been listening to Omrecker and Red Panda Gamer talk about this shit. And I, I see that Nerd Cube is already on the brain transplant. I am not the go-to YouTuber for MLG level play of anything, but Surgeon Simulator 2013 is apparently decidedly... Uh, not my jam. Let's see if I can get this shit down here. And again, that's why it's so weird to me that, that this game is coming out for real. I mean, good for the developers, you know, they, they had kind of a, a nerve in the industry, I guess, uh, or in the, the market at least. People were excited and kind of titillated by this game, which is cool. I have nothing against them by that, but it, it's so weird to take a critical look at this. Because I have no idea, A, how much this is going to cost, because we haven't been informed on that. Uh, but B, whether or not it's worth it. Whether or not it's worth it to you is largely going to be dependent, I guess, on how funny you consider Surgeon Simulator the free version to be. If you really like the free version, you know, by all means, pick up the uh, the paid version. It's more of the same. I, what, what can I say? It's not like they, you know, completely bastardized the Surgeon Simulator 2013 canon or something. It's not like your doctor is now all of a sudden like an, an elephant or something. 
I, I like that that's where I immediately go. What can I say? As a fan of properties that have been bastardized in sequelized form, uh, that's immediately where my brain is going to go. Not to comment uh, or name names, George Lucas. Anyway, now we're just going to cut these dudes up a little bit. There we go. I think we're pretty good for bones here. Might want to get this one at the bottom. I realize he's losing blood at a, a fairly substantial rate. I kind of want to get this last remaining bone, though, before we go for the syringe. Whatever, we'll just take it out here. So we'll put the saw down. We might need that again. Let's go back here uh, and pick up our syringe. Our green syringe. This is very important. Let's not drug ourselves by accident. The green syringe has not been picked up. The green syringe has been picked up. I will say it's surprisingly easy to pick things up. I don't know if it's just that I've spent more time with the game now or if it's actually like they've made it easier, but either way, I appreciate it. Uh, it's not as hard or as insurmountable as it was the first time I played it. Now, with the rib cage having been cut up, it's time for us to come in here and pick up the lungs. And we're just going to shake our mouse around, basically, to make that work. Lung one, usually the easiest one. Uh, I sometimes struggle a little bit with lung two. Uh, but if I just kind of come down here on top of it, I'm... Oh, there we go! That actually went really well. I mean, not for the dude, because he doesn't have any bones left. Uh, but, you know, we'll just make him sniff his own lung. And there we go. It's like a beautiful steak. If he can't breathe, I mean, we've, we've disabled the lungs. We might as well put it close to his face. Maybe they can still process oxygen for him. I mean, he's still got an oxygen mask on. I don't know what he's going to use it for. Oh, we'll get that later. Don't worry. We'll slice that and sell it in the deli. Okay. Now, we have to cut through the, uh, the stomach here. Or the gullet, as that uh, disc told us at the start. You know, some people may know this, some people may not. But I actually do hold a university degree in biology. So if anyone's qualified play Surgeon Simulator, and believe you me, nobody is qualified to play Surgeon uh, My watch just appeared again! Get out of here, watch. Uh, yeah, just, you vibrate over there and glitch through the the medical table. Uh, it's making some weird noises as well. I mean, the game's a little physically glitchy like that. That's kind of, again, the point, though. If you're, if you're playing this game for reasons beyond uh, the humor of the situation, then you're making a, a fatal mistake, I feel. So this syringe, I'm just trying to cut the... Uh, stomach area here. Preferably not cutting the heart. I literally just stabbed this dude in the heart, but I guess that's okay. Um, I could also use the saw for this because I kept it around, uh, but I think this is doable. Is this the way you cut through this? The stomach has historically been the hardest part for me. Let's just take that away and get the saw instead, which, you know, we'll get this beaker out of the way first. Again, apparently we're levitating it because we are glass nido. That's, um, not a Dark Souls reference, it's just Magneto made of glass. Or not made of glass, but uh, Magneto that can uh, manipulate glass, I guess. So, you know, this is going to cause this dude to bleed like crazy, almost as if we are applying the Uchi Katana to him. Uh, but this is also the way that I would wreck. Oh god, he's lo he started losing 70 milliliters of blood per second. That was an absolutely terrible mistake. Let's try this one more time, okay? Brutal murder achieved in a mere six minutes. I apologize if this is tedious. If you think this is tedious, I would recommend probably waiting for a Steam sale on Sur Surgeon Simulator 2013. But in terms of my overall impressions, you know, what can I say? It's the free version, but bigger, which I think is exactly what people expected. If this comes out and it's 15 bucks, uh, I, I'm not, I don't know if I'd necessarily feel comfortable saying this, but it, to a certain extent, it seems like kind of a cash grab because it's not... Uh, you know, that much more robust than the free version. You could definitely make do with just the free version. Uh, but if this is three, five, or ten bucks, I, I could definitely see you having, you know, a fun afternoon or two, uh, kind of messing around in it. But it is, you know, for me, I find it a little frustrating to play, but fun in short doses as well. And fun to watch, too. Although, I, I'm sure YouTube, especially now that this version is going to be out on Steam with three different surgeries, uh, is absolutely going to be inundated with commentaries on it, which is why, you know, I wanted to get something up on the first day, kind of beat that uh, general man that's gonna come around. Same thing that happened to uh, Amnesia, Minecraft, Happy Wheels, although I was like two years late on that one. Anyway, there's no need to get into a meta discussion on YouTube here. People play and watch what they want, that's totally cool with me, uh, but I wanted to be here on the ground floor, because I'm sure this is gonna attract a lot of attention now that it is out on Steam. And should you buy it? Yeah, maybe. If you're into Surgeon Simulator, uh, and uh, you kind of understand that this is meant to be a, a humorous game, of course. And you understand that the frustration is, you know, it's almost like an I want to be the guy or something in the sense that the frustration is, is part of the uh, deliberate experience. Then I would, I would encourage you to you know, pick this up. People do do this, uh, the ribcage stuff, as I mentioned like four times now, with the hammer. But um, I prefer to handle it uh, with the saw. I just find it gives me a little bit more precision. It makes things a little quicker. Uh, and a little bit more deliberate. So we're gonna put the saw back over here. Now I know that that is probably what we sh not what we should use for the uh, 
removing of the uh, the stomach. But I don't know. I, I don't know if I if I can remove the stomach. I've tried many many times. I've probably spent like an hour today simply on stomach removal because the other stuff only takes a few minutes each time. Oh come on! How am I gonna use a pair of scissors in this game? Let's be honest, game. I'll be honest with you. You be honest with me. Here's my honesty. I suck dick. Like not for real, but in the game. Uh, don't take that out of context. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Now, we'll just get this guy to stop bleeding, and then life is good. Why is he bleeding more when I stabbed him? Is that something to do with my watch? Does this guy hate time? I do like that the watch is tied to your, like, PC clock. Oh, well, that was interesting physics. Uh, now, again, this lung is already half out for us, which is good news. We'll just put this here, so he's got, you know, some air holes there. And, uh, is it air holes? I don't know what I'm talking about. Again, university degree in biology. What are those things in the lung called? Air holes. Uh, whatever. Bronchioles. Who gives a shit? Put this over this dude's face. Boom. It won't stick. Okay. See you later. Kind of looks like a, it does look like a deli meat. Now, we're back in the same place we were in before. Uh, if I could just grab this kidney, or this liver and get this out of here. Like that, we'll just tear that baby up, and again, we'll put this up here just in case he gets hungry a little bit later. That one's actually gonna stick around. Oh, this is cute! Looks like he's got a, like a parasite attached to the side of his face or something. Aww! Hey, who's a good- Get closer! Get closer! Oh, okay, that's a little gross now. Like, we'll see you later, Liver. You go hang out by the solar bottle. Uh, now, stomach. This is an issue. Historically, at least, it has been. One of these, when it said, like, there's a cardiac, uh, scalpel and the gullet scalpel, I don't know what the difference is. I accidentally turned on the drill there. Seems like a silly idea. Um, but I don't know if it makes a difference at all, considering you can basically use, uh, seemingly any tool to accomplish anything. God damn it, this is not going superbly. Just put this down. It, if you get a single scalpel involved, they do things do tend to sort of magnetize to your uh, hand, which is a, a positive thing. Don't get me wrong. That's probably the best scalpel hold I've ever had. Now, if only I could adjust the camera somewhat so I could see what I was doing in here. But uh, we're just gonna drag this across. Hopefully, not get this dude to uh, minus 73. Oh god, it's stuck on the bone. Do I still have it? Yes, okay. Just not get this dude to minus 73 uh, milliliters per second and we should be okay. We're just gonna scrape this along here. I wish I had a better solution for this, but you know, this is working pretty well for me. Do I still have- I used the saw last time. Let's not fall into that trap again. I could use- I don't know if I'll just stab some scissors in there and maybe that'll work, but the fact that this is bleeding, I'm not sure if that's bad or good to be quite honest with you. If only uh, they should make this multiplayer online, and I'll just be the rib breaker because I seem to, uh, the rib breaker and the uh, initial syringer. I seem to be half decent at that. Uh, let's speaking of which, let's get a syringe here, and then I'm gonna try to use the scissors to just cut through. Oh no, what have I done? It's okay, man. It's okay. Don't think about anything. Fuck you. You ever look at your hands, man? You, they call them fingers, but I've never seen them thing. Anyway. Uh, get used to this, because I think this is going to be how we're going to spend the, the last half of the video here. Uh, now, if I could just get the syringe here and stop this young man from bleeding out on the table, then I could get back to my LSD-fueled 70s-style disco party currently happening inside of my brain and on the screen now for all to see. Please grab the... Oh my god, I can't get it. Can't get it. It's too far. Oh, I've got it. Okay, I think I've got it. It's hard to tell here. Should have like an epilepsy warning at the start of this video. That's not a joke, by the way. I saw Nick doing that and was like, I need to have an epilepsy warning on my videos. What if we just throw the if I stab him in the face? Maybe it'll cause him to stop bleeding? Nope. Uh doesn't appear to be doing any Oh, it did! I stabbed him in the head with the syringe and he stopped bleeding. There you go, modern medicine. You're welcome. Uh now, what did I want to do? I want to grab these scissors right, you know, somewhere in this general area. Uh, I, I picked him up for a second there, it looks like. Oh my god, this is horrifying. Uh, I do like that there's kind of like that reception area, uh, and there's all sorts of weird uh, Easter eggs associated with that. That's pretty cool, I will admit. Now, we're gonna take these scissors, uh, and we're gonna just try to cut this dude's... I don't know if this is the pyloric valve or what here. And we'll see if we... Oh! I, I've done something. Did I cut it? I can't tell is the fucking problem. There's like a blood stain, but I can't see if I'm actually doing anything. 
beyond just causing this man to probably feel extreme discomfort if I haven't already, you know, rendered him essentially brain dead. Uh, I, I, it looks like I've cut some valves in there, like maybe the heart has been, the, the aorta has been cut? If that's the case, then I, I, I can just grab the, uh, like, like, I'm trying to get this to match up here and see. I wonder if there's an antidote somewhere in the game. I can't tell if, I, if I've cut the right cords here, essentially. If that didn't do it, though, uh, I'm not sure what will, because I'm just basically ravaging his, you know, gastrointestinal tract here. Sure, let's get these scissors out of here. Uh, this guy's gonna bleed out on the table in any case. I can't even, like, really see the heart. I'll try to grab the, the stomach. This has been a real issue for me so far. <laughs> you know, I, I kind of just want to not be high anymore. At which point, I think I'm just gonna actually hit, uh, you know, back to menu here, because this uh, psychedelic effect is kind of starting to annoy me, actually. But in any case, this is Surgeon Simulator 2013, for better or worse. This is a silly game. Uh, I'm pointing at you, Diazepam. Glue stick, I choose... Oh, it's, it's too far away. I'm not even... I'm not that committed to the joke. Orange burst, I choose you! Um, you know, it, it's a silly game. The point of it is the silliness. There's no point in getting bent out of shape of it. Uh, or about it, I guess I should say. Depending on how much money this is, I either strongly support your purchase if you're into this kind of absurdity, or, you know, maybe encourage you to wait a little bit longer. But in any case, there's certainly no other game like it available on Steam right now. Kind of like a medical version of GURP. Oh, we got a telephone call here. Or a med- Oh! Well... I can hear them, they're talking in Simlish. I'm so you have just won a carnival cruise! Anyway, uh... Yeah, Surgeon Simulator 2013. What more can be said, really? In any case, thank you guys for watching. This will be available on Steam. There will be a link to the store page in the video description. As always, thank you guys for watching. I apologize for my MLG level gameplay. MLG stands for Mediocre League Gaming in this case. But again, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.